Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today, or tonight, or whatever time frame you're in. This is actually nighttime for me, so I got the, you know, artificial lights and whatnot. And I'm still wearing a hat, which is great. Um, this is the bed series, by the way, which is, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. It's good to be in bed with crypto, you know. If you're with in bed with any other type of money, you're cheating. Don't be a cheater. <laughs> don't, don't, don't cheat with fiat. <laughs> Stay in bed with uh, crypto. So, all right. In my last two analyses, I ended up um, telling you guys that I was expecting it to go down to 50,562. I showed you the price break chart and I was telling you, hey, you know, usually if I see one of these big, you know, triple breaks, I see at least two more follow up and then a bounce back. So I'm gonna say that if this break ends up breaking the 50,562, that's an issue. And then I'm gonna have to see whether it goes further down. If it goes further down, it might actually end up touching the 44463 barrier, as I like to call it. Um, and there might be a possibility for that because the Renko, which I still need to finish, right? The Renko is showing me a bear hammer, right? If I ever see this pattern, I usually go, okay, if it's a red um, bear hammer pattern like this, then I'm expecting at least one of these bricks. So, you know, I need this to clear out. But again, I think it might just, you know, bounce here and get bounce back during the weekend. But if it doesn't do that, well, we're in for a ride <laughs> to the bottom <laughs> to 44,463, which is fine. It's a great entry point. Um, excuse me, I had a really good meal. Uh, good place to enter and then we'll probably bounce back from there. We probably won't break this area. But I might be wrong, we might actually break it. But for now, I'm looking at and I'm keeping my eye on it. I, again, I still need this pattern to complete, but as long as we're above the 44463, everything's Gucci. Um, again, I'm going to say I'm expecting a bounce back. And by the looks of it, look, the stochastics might be going back up and crossing. And so you might have a bounce back here and we might go. So again, tomorrow will tell if tomorrow everything's, you know, green and, you know, we're going all the way up and to the moon and whatnot, then yeah, probably good idea to invest tomorrow and then ride that wave up and then take your profits. Okay. So that's, that does it for Bitcoin. Let me just save everything here. I don't think I did much, but whatever, just to save it. Uh, okay, so let's go to Ethereum. So Ethereum has a similar pattern in terms of um, going down. It's funny how Ethereum is sort of following Bitcoin. Uh, I said the price would be 1442.85. Yesterday, I think I inserted more numbers because <laughs> I'm used to the Bitcoin numbers. Anyway, so um, the price here is gonna, if it touches this area, it'll still bounce back, I think. But as long as it doesn't break the 1379, we should be fine. Again, I'm I'm hopeful that it might bounce back over the weekend. I would have to look over the weekend. Tomorrow, I would have to kind of see where it's at. Um, as you can see in the candle, it's below the, I think the 55 day EMA, which again, isn't that good. There's a possibility it can come down here in the 1418 range. Uh, it's it's still not something I like at this point. Again, I would need tomorrow to look over, but again, as long as everybody's above the 1442.85 line, we should be fine. Um, it'll probably touch it, but it probably won't break it. At least not that I can tell, because I think this moving average, my gray one, totally forget what these averages are. So yeah, that's the 100 day EMA, so. 21, 5,500 day, and it's a 200 day EMA. All right, so as long as it it's roughly in that range, we should be fine. Um, yeah, so tomorrow is gonna be really what I wanna see. Like tomorrow is gonna be like the day of sort of, okay, do we, by we, I mean me, do I, do I go back into the market or do I stay the hell out? So let's go and uh, finish up with our favorite coin of the, of the day of the universe of everything. Dogecoin, so yeah, like I said, Dogecoin has a potential to go down here at the 0.0466 um, range. Uh, and again, I'm saying it might finish up this pattern here, one, two, three, and then go back up. Uh, 
and it seems rather okay let's see yeah this doesn't look very good either so huh it's a doji sign okay so it might actually if, if all these coins all three of these might be actually going back with the way up during the weekend so again tomorrow is my day tomorrow is i'm gonna be like okay what do i do tomorrow is decision day basically uh for now i think i think it hasn't bottomed out yet Again, I need this to finish, right? At least at the 0 0.047 range for Doge. And then I'll uh, I'll decide what to do from that point forward. So yeah, that about concludes my lovely, amazing, great, fantastic, amateur as hell analysis of cryptos. Um, you're watching the bed series, you know, remember if you're in bed, you're in Bitcoin, Ethereum and Dogecoin. And, you know, there should be a TM because I think I made that. <laughs> Fantastic. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow. Bye.